Hello everyone, this is me, Ryan. Some of you guys know me as John Doe, here in Tokyo, right? So, as being an American citizen and coming from America, I think it's important for me to keep up what's going on over there in the States, even though it's not really my home anymore. And, um, sure as shit, they're still over there pushing uh, control of the internet by government regulators and also by private industry. More importantly, all these ISPs out there, right? Time Warner, Verizon, all these cats are jumping up, be, jumping up in their seats and stuff, and going crazy over this new bill that's um in just been introduced, right? It's called the Internet Alert Act. Uh, some people are calling it also uh, six strikes. So basically, what happens? You get six claims against you for a copyright infringement or violation or something like that, you're gone off the internet, possibly forever. You could also have charges brought against you, all for uh, doing that very natural human thing called sharing and creating. All right? Now, the details on this. ISPs are being very tight-lipped because obviously... Ah, oh, 5 o'clock, time to finish work. You guys hear that, right? Another feature about your pain. Anyways, right? These guys have not been uh, given a lot of details on it, and it's clear as day, you know, that their lobbyists and their lawyers and stuff are the ones that wrote this bill, and anybody in the American legislature that's supporting it, they didn't write it, even if their name's on it, all right? These guys, again, are still trying to take over your internet. Still trying to take over our internet. Now, it wouldn't be a huge problem for them to want to get involved and help people protect their own creations, right? That's not the problem. The problem is, it's going to be decided on a very small number of people. People who control the means of production. We can't have that. The reason we can't have that type of situation is because on the internet, things are done a lot collectively and sometimes using methods of anarchy, and it's also a quite democratic place. Um, and you can't come in there and say, well, because I own the tubes... Uh, and I, I can control access and I can tell people how things are going to be on the internet. Now, nah, you can't do that, you see. If you give us enough details and you uh, explain a plan that everyone on the internet can, in general, be involved in to help protect people's creations and help artisans and many people across the net not get basically ripped off by um, larger... Um, sometimes clandestine organizations that do rip off music and movies and creations and things like that and make cash off without the person who created it get anything in return. All right, we know that. But you got to involve all of us, okay? You can't just say it's you guys, okay? You capitalists, all right? You're not going to control this. People are still going to fight this, right? So if you're in the States and you're seeing all this going down, there's a new six strike thing where with every violation, there's one more thing to remember about that. With every time you get a violation or claim even accused of you, um, I think Verizon has said they're going to slow down your net for uh, two or three days. They teach you a lesson. You guys like all that? You like these um, big boys up there controlling you, telling everything to do? Do nothing. But if you don't like that, if you don't like being controlled by means owners of means production and a few tiny people, get the word out. Fight this.